have episode time. Let's get to doing requests. We still have the whole request street to do again, but I haven't looked on the mission board in Professor Livingston's office. So I think I'm gonna go do that first. The mission board. There are some quest requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Back alley, Mr. Mime. It seems Mr. Mime has taken up residence here in Jubilife, but its eerie movements are making Andra, one of the villagers, a touch nervous. Speak to the poor chap and lend him your aid. I mean, I would be freaked out about a clown in a back alley as well. All right, so is Mr. Mime is over here or is the person that has a problem with Mr. Mime over here? Oh, it's the person. Is he looking at Mr. Mime? No. Mr. Mime? I don't see it anywhere. Andro. Oh, hello. Thanks again for finding me those orange berries. I don't remember that request. It's been so long. I had a wretched time in the field lands getting harried by Pokemon left and right. They even got me with a few of their moves. But I did get those tumble stones, so I think I've earned some time to cool my heels here. I didn't even have a chance to, to use all the orange berries you got me but they made me a lovely snack. It's nice to be able to carry so much. Asking that fellow at headquarters to help me fit it in more s my satchel was definitely the right. How much have you paid that man? So helpful soul that you are. I suppose you're here about my request to the professor. On to the matter at hand then, would you mind investigating the Mr. Mind that's taken up residence here in the village? Just having a wild Pokemon among us is scary enough. And then there's the eerie way it moves. Security Corps refuses to handle it for whatever reason. I'm hoping a Survey Corps person like you can help me out. Look, it's over there. Mine! Mine! <laughs> See what it's up to, would you? I don't want to go down the alley. You go down the alley. Fine. I can't get any clip. Mime. Mime. He put up a barrier. That jerk. I gotta go around back. Really? <laughs> really? Mr. Mime. He ran away. I guess he's shy. Ran off that way. He wouldn't run unless it had something to hide. Now we've really got to find out what it's up to. That's not true at all. Dude, are you just stirring the pot? Look, the Mr. Mime ran right up there. It is freaking creepy. Let me guess, there's a barrier this way too. Oh my gosh, Mime. Are you freaking kidding? I gotta go run around the whole entire headquarters. What the heck? Why is there a barrier here? What? Did he create a maze? He did. He created a maze. Mr. Mime, you're being obnoxious. <sighs> he ran off that way. You know, you've got a roundabout way of trying to get up close to Pokemon. Are you secretly scared of them or something? Something's blocking me. What? You're joking. Unless that Mr. Mime is some kind of, has, is using some kind of mysterious power. Whatever the case, this calls for further research. I've got to get after that Mr. Mime. Come quick. Dude, I feel like we're antagonizing him. Dude is a ghost. Where's that now, dude? There you are. Look, Mr. Mime's over there. Go see if it's really making walls. Of course it is. It makes barriers all the time. 
Mime. 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 Oh, this is annoying. Mr. Mime, can you please stop running away? Can you make it invisible barriers? He's trying to run away again. Wait, you. Whoa, I can't go any further. There's definitely something here. I can't see it. What is it, Mr. Mime? Looks like you've got something's got you in a panic. What? Reese, you know this Mr. Mime? Yep, it helps me guard the gate sometimes. When it stands out front, it does that eerie dance. Wild Pokemon can't get in. It's like there's some kind of invisible wall. It's docile, and it helps me with my job, so I just let it do as it pleases. Who would have thought? Sorry to make you go through all that trouble, but it brought me some peace of mind, if nothing else. If we've got invisible walls cropping up here and there, folks had better keep an eye out. Or perhaps not an eye. Well, however one watches for invisible obstacles. Get the lens of truth from the Legend of Zelda. Back alley, Mr. Mime. Yeah, it's fine going in this. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Mime. Have fun, Mr. Mime. All right. To the board again. At home under the eaves. It seems the Chimeco has made itself at home under the eaves of one of our village houses. Speak with Ida, the elderly resident of Jubilife. To find out more on the matter, I remember passing by and seeing this time back before. This is request 85. The last one I did was number 21. I know exactly where I'm going even without looking at the icon. Chime. Okay, actually, I don't know where I'm going because they want me to talk to somebody else. Um, do I have to go inside her house? Nope. Wait a minute. Let me try this. There we go, there is the icon. They said that the person was elderly. I guess I should take into account that they probably went to bed at 8 p.m. You're with the survey corps, right? The Chimeco's decided to nest in my house. Do you think you could help me to get it to move? Are you sure you want to get rid of this womb chime? It made itself at home under the eaves before I even noticed. It seems mellow enough, but I'm not at ease with having a Pokemon so close. I've already spoken to some homeowners who'd be willing to let Chimeco move in with them. What I'd like you to do is ha have a look at the homes and make sure they'd be a good fit for Chimeco. It's not like I can't tell what Chimeco feels, so... The first place I'd like you to check is that farmer's house near the fields. I think you could find a nice place for Chimeco to hang out there. Alright. Well, am I just supposed to go to the place and look at it? Calm down, Onyx. Investigate. I don't think it's feeling it. Yeah, it's not feeling it. Oh, that was a sad chime sound. The wind direction seems to be bothering Chimeco. Uh, let's go back to Ida. Chimeco don't like it here. Yeah, it didn't like it. Oh, so it prefers the way the wind blows around my house. I like it too. We get a good breeze. See? You and Chimeco get along well. Oh then, how about the hut by the sea? The ocean breeze is so refreshing. Oh, I gotta go all the way over there. I can fly. Part of the way. I hope I don't run into Kamado over here. I'm not trying to do that mission right now. He's out on the, okay. Invest investigate. It's not gonna like you here either. Yeah. I knew it didn't like you here. Chimeco seems lonely since there's nobody around. Aww. I guess you're nobody, homie. Sorry. So it likes lively places. It's always great to have some activity around. It's just gonna end up staying here. How about the training grounds? With the security corps around, that place is always bustling. Uh, it's probably not gonna like seeing all the violence. It probably just wants to be very, very chill. 
Oh, it likes it. Is that your Trimeco? Why don't you come and train with us? Uh, yeah, they just want to train and Chime Echo is like, no. It's shy. Seems like Chime Echo doesn't like to battle. Yeah. Figures. By rule of threes, that should have been the last one. And now Chime Echo is just going to settle down at her place and she's going to accept it. And you're going to like it, lady. So they invited it to battle and it was very uncomfortable with that. I guess it's only natural that some Pokemon don't like the battle. I'm sorry to scare you, Chimeco. See, look, you're mindful of Chimeco enough that Chimeco likes being around you. Oh, this is telling me not to worry about it. How about next door to me, then? It's hardly different at all from my place. I had a chat with my neighbor, and they said they'd be fine with Chimeco hanging around. What do you mean right here? Really, I think Chimeco likes her, though. Aww. Yeah, Chimeco likes her. Uh, pardon me. I know I just sent you chasing about looking for a good home for Chimeco, but I think I'd like him to stay with me after all. You've really helped me understand Chimeco a lot better. I think we can actually live together now. It just dawned on me that hearing a storable cry coming from under the eaves is part of my routine now. There you go. You're going to live with me from now on, aren't you, Chimeco? Thank you for all your help. I'm glad this village has a, a survey corps. Literally ran around for nothing. A nose pass to guide the way. Huh? Golia, the secure supply corps, has requested help. Something with a saying about nose pass. Seek her out and put your serving skills to good use by pointing her in the right direction. What? Is Nose Pass supposed to be some type of compass? Well, I guess it does evolve with electricity and then levitates with magnetism. Hornet Highlands. I don't know which one I'm going to. Huh, right on the top of the mission. There she is. Gully. Ah, good. I've been waiting for someone for the survey corps to come along. I want to gather crafting materials in Wayward Cave, but I realize I have a bit of a problem. My sense of direction is worse than useless. You mean it's a detriment? If there's any chance at all of getting lost in the cave, you can bet that's what I'll do. But I know a way to keep myself from stumbling around in the dark forever. See, there's this old saying in my hometown, a nose pass never wanders. Since the nose pass always faces the same direction, people from my village would look to this Pokemon for guidance when they lost their way. Though I admit I've not actually seen a nose pass before in my life. A little matter. I just need to find myself a nose pass before I find myself hopelessly lost. I'll check the direction of faces against my map, then navigate through the cave with ease. I'll look around for a nose pass too, but if you catch one before I do, can you please give it to me? Do I have a nose pass? I have five of them. Where'd she go? Why'd she go all the way over there? She's already inside. Shouldn't she wait since she has a bad sense of direction? She's already deep inside. What are you doing? There you are. Did you find a nose pass for me? I have a few. Let me check through all of them. Select. Are you sure you want to give up this Pokemon? Yep. See, I don't remember them facing one direction when I caught it. That's a nose pass, all right. Thanks for finding it. Now I understand that this Pokemon's giant nose always points in the same direction. So if it faces this way, that means the exit must be over here. A nose pass never wanders indeed. I wish I'd encounter this Pokemon sooner. I owe you a big thanks. It's such a relief to finally have a nose pass as my trusty guide. All the twists and turns of Wayward Cave can't stop me now. She's still gonna get lost, without a doubt. Oh, hey, an unknown. I was just casually wandering through the cave and here you are here take this L I got an L now I'm lost I'm somewhat curious does this lead anywhere or is this just a dead end 
Holy crap, I leave somewhere. Kinda. Who that? It better not be Wanda. Post Admiral View to come to such a remote corner of the Highlands. I know, I was expecting there to be like something good out here. There's nothing. Just a gold duck and a carnivine. The choice of path shows a certain kind of single minded dedication. I have a recipe perfectly suited for someone like yourself. Here, I hope you'll give this a try. Crafting recipe for choice dumplings. Three caster firm leaves, one dire shroom, one bunch of sword cap, and two socks of hardy grain. Trust someone like you will find will be able to make a truly delicious dish. Farewell, my earnest friend. That wasn't worth it. Now, how's this back? This little cove is boo boo. Also, dude called me simple minded. I don't like that. What's that flying up there? Hold on, is that a magnezone? Oh my gosh, it is. I stumbled upon a magnezone. Over through. Bruh. I'm annoyed. Finally, I hit it. I'm sorry, you can keep flipping out every single time you break out of the ball. Good chance for me to catch you. The taste of honey. Alma. Almuas. Almuas? of the agriculture core thinks he's discovered something about Kumbi's honey. Speak to the good fellow to help him out with his research. I Did you say my Kumbi? Yes, I did. Listen, I've been gathering Kumbi honey for work. I'm starting to think that their honey's flavor varies between groups of Kumbi. I'd like to look into the differences more, but that'd mean collecting honey from Kumbi, hives, and all sorts of areas. That's a bit too much for this lone fella. That's where you come in. I'd love if you could bring me Combi from three different areas. First, get me a Combi from Ruling Grove, would you? Uh, okay. I might have already caught one from there, but I can do it again. Aspiration. Okay, so you can look at what you have and see if anything matches. Let's see if anything matches. Nope. 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 There we go. Brought me a combi from the grueling grove, have you? I didn't have to get it out of, okay. Here. I'll just have myself a little sample of this honey. Slurp. That's exactly what honey should be. Tastes like distilled drop of nutritious, foresty goodness. Is it really nutritious? But I get the feeling it doesn't quite taste like honey from other areas. I'll make sure to memorize this flavor. Let's move on. Two more places to check. The next combi I'm after lives on Apom Hill. Can you bring one to me from there? I know I don't have one from there. An outbreak. <gasps> Doing it. I caught 15 of them and not a single shiny popped up. You're cutting in with main mission stuff for request stuff. Fine, I'll read this and I'll stick it at the front of the episode. Why are you doing this? Got one. Yeah, I still want to catch more. I just realized that's the mushroom dude. I didn't notice him before. Brought me a combi from Apom Hill, have you? Yeah, I did. Here, this one. I'll just have a little sample of its honey.
What's he got to say about this? Not too heavy on the sweetness. Just honey, plain and simple. Good enough to serve as a special treat on its own. This one definitely tastes different from the Grilling Grove honey. I'll make sure to memorize this flavor. All right. Here's the last of these errands. Can you bring me a combi from Romanus Island? Bruh, I've been going to Romanus Park in Brilliant Diamond. Sure I can go there. I really hope I don't get another cutscene. Another outbreak? Scythers? I might have to. I might. I think Romanus Island is here, right? Like right there? Maybe here? I'll check them out later. As of right now, Scythers. <sighs> Looks like we're out of luck here too. But it's Gyarados. You're not in the water anymore. You're in the ground. What are you doing? Try to turn around. There you go. You got a glitchy, glitchy creature. Nose pass turns around. She was lying. It looks like he likes facing this way. Another outbreak. Magby. Yeah. I think we're out of luck again. Romanus Island, just like I thought. There we go. Don't be on Romanus Island. I'm not even wasting time actually doing anything to you other than putting a ball. I'm using a Pokeball. Get in the ball. I don't care if you're enraged. Your gust should not do that much. Fine, get in a great ball. Sure. Oh, I'm a combi. I'm so self-important. I gotta go to great ball. I'm not a normal Pokeball like those scrubs. Shut up. All right, dude. I got your last combi. Brought me a combi from Romanus Island, have you? Here. I'll just have a little sample of this honey. This type bunny just begs me to stir it in a cup of tea. Must be something different about the flowers. So combi in different areas make differently flavored honey. What a lively, mysterious bunch they are. Just think of how many different clusters of combi there are in obsidian field lands alone. I'm getting the urge to collect more honey. Thanks for helping me confirm my suspicions. I have some of my hand selected dazzling honey. Thanks, dude. Yo, where'd the parasite go? Yeah, same dude, where'd the parasite? There's the parasite! Render, dag it. So I wrote it in the rhyme, the Reverend Doctor got an 8K, wet working. Roaches get the race spray, my weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self-entitled kings, you leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, million man marching, Sparta mixed with a legion of angels, surrounding sons and daughters, Simon Peter with a desert eagle, waving it at Caesar. So if I was you, I'd probably...